All right, we'll get started with Dusty, who's got the first question. We'll start right here, <clears throat> Dusty. Hey, Dusty, what did you see from Javier on the mound tonight? Well, I mean, he was good. His fastball had life, good breaking ball, a good changeup, uh, you know, good location. I think he only walked one guy or two guys. I mean, that's the secret. You know, if you can s stop from walking guys, because you know they're going to hit the ball at the ballpark at some point in time. So, uh, you know, he was good. He was, he was very good. We'll go to the third row, Dusty. Hi, Dusty. Mm -hmm. Jose Altuve just hit his uh, 25th homer in the postseason. What do you have to say about him and his leadership and everything he brings to the team? Well, you know, he comes to play, and he comes to play every day. And uh, you'll see him look bad on one at bat, then he'll pop you the next at bat. And, uh, I mean, this guy is one of the best playoff uh, players of all time. And, uh, you know, we love him. The fans in Houston uh, love him. He's a fan favorite. And, uh, you know, you just enjoy watching, watching him play every day. A fourth row in the middle, Matt. Hey, Dusty, you had Brantley out there in left field, and he made a big catch. How big of a yeah. catch was that in your eyes? Yeah, that was huge because that would have been a run, another run, and that would have been – uh, a runner on second base, and uh, and the big thing was, you know, that was the uh, last out of the inning. So there, there were some good plays, you know, made out there on their end. You know, Tavares made a a great play on um, <clears throat> on Alvarez, and then uh, Michael returned uh, the favor, made a great play uh, is himself. Third row on your left, I'll see uh, you. Dusty down 0-2. Do you see anything different from your team tonight or just same all, same all, and you guys played well? No, not really. I mean, you know, we were close to winning the first two games. You know, we were one hit away. You know, that was, it might not have won, but we were one hit away from at least tying it, tying it up or going ahead. And, uh, you know, uh, I mean, this team doesn't quit. We know that the Rangers don't quit either. And, uh, you know, it makes for, for a good series. Right here, Dusty. Do you have a starter for Game Four yet? Um, have they announced a starter for Game Four? They have not, that I'm aware of, anyway. I have one, but I'd like to know who <laughs> theirs. <laughs> I'd like to know who theirs is. Fair enough. Uh, next question uh, in the back corner here. What is it about the home and road splits with your team this year? It's held through regular season and playoffs. Just a real oddity, it seems. I don't know. This is it's the strangest thing I've ever seen. Because usually, you know, you want to be 500 on the road and, and uh, you know, way over 500 at home. Um, I asked the team in spring training to be the best road team. Maybe I should have asked them to be the best road and home team. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they usually, you know, give me what I, what I asked for. And like I said, before the game started, you know, we had 50 games on the road. We won 50 games on the road, and the <coughs> and the uh, Rangers won 51 games, I think, at home. So this marks for for a good series. And uh, Matt. It, and I got to add too. Uh, I was tired of coming in here second. <laughs> I mean, first. Uh, I'm glad to be second today. There you go. Uh, you got Dubon in the lineup. He came up with some big hits. Modern got yeah. big hits. Just talk about the bottom of the order. Yeah, well, the bottom of the order is, is, is always important because it rolls your lineup around. And uh, Dubon's been great for us. You know, like I, you know, I like to match up, you know, with Dubon versus Serger more than I did McCormick. And, uh, you know, Maldi got, got some big hits. I mean, that was a big, big hit. Uh, that was too hot to handle, you know, uh, past Young. And... Uh, you know, anytime you get two out hits, two out RBIs, these are usually make the difference in the in the in the uh, in the game. Anything else for Dusty? All right, Dusty, okay. thanks so much. Appreciate it. Uh, from the Astros, we're expecting Christian Javier and Mauricio Dubon. Mauricio, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Pre-game, post-game, big day for you. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, who's got the first question for Mauricio? And we'll start with Danielle to your left. First three-hit game of your uh, postseason career, just was there something that was the reason why you were seeing the ball so well today? I mean, I had a plan. I had a plan going in and executed and, you know, 
game last game I hit three barrels and got caught. Today I got three, you know, broken bad, ended up falling, so a little lucky today, but I'll take it. Stay in that row right here, Mauricio. Mauricio, te ha tocado esta temporada comenzar en la segunda base, después en, en el Jardín Central. Dos preguntas para ti. Una, hoy fuiste nominado al, al guante de oro, por supuesto importante para ti. Y además, esta noche diste dos hits claves en los rallies de los Astros de Houston para conseguir este triunfo que era eh, muy importante, ¿no? Para mantenerse con vida y, y evitar que esta serie se fuera 3 a 0 en contra. Sí, lo del guante de oro es una bendición. Eh, una bendición especialmente... Eh, como niño uno siempre sueña tener el, el parche dorado, eh, solo que lo consideren es algo, algo increíble, una bendición de Dios y, y ojalá que no sea el último, la última nominación. Eh, y también los hits, eh, el plan estaba ahí y se dieron los pichos y como digo, una bendición poder, poder dar esos, esos dos hits. Other questions, Matt? I don't know how well you can see from center field, but what did you see from Javier from your point of view and how comfortable are y'all with him in a big game like this? No, he, he, Javier's unreal. I mean, that's why they call him Ed Reptil, you know, cold-blooded guy. You know, coming in and, and doing what he does in the postseason, you know, it's 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 for grown-ups over there, and, and he's coming in and, and, and does it, and, and it's pretty pretty special. We're not surprised, but you no, know, what he does is it's pretty amazing. Other questions, Mauricio? Right here. Did you think on that catch from Michael Brantley that he had any chance when it left the bat? And what was your reaction in center? Um, I saw Mikey running. Um, I saw he had a dead eye, so I kind of stopped because I saw, I saw him. He was going to you know, go after it So in case it fall. And when I saw that, the ball, you know, just getting in the glove, I got so happy. You know, I think I got more happy than, than he did. I mean, he expected that, but I was so happy. And, you know, it's, it's pretty unreal what he does at the, at the plate and, and on defense, too. That's third row, Danielle. You said you felt like you got lucky a little bit today at the plate, but after the momentum that you guys had in that second inning, did it feel like the subsequent at bats after that, did, it was, did something change for you, or were you still in the same mindset as the first one? I was in the same mindset. I, I didn't want to change what I was, you know, what I worked the, in the MVP and everything. I just had the same mindset, and you know, ended up, ended up. You know, I know they pitch around Tucker a little bit, so I know they wanted to get to me, and and it's just a matter of you know, going there and executing. Questions for Mauricio? All right, Mauricio, congratulations. Thank Great you. job. Uh, Christian Javier will be in next. All right, Christian, congrats on a great game. Jen Loy is here to help uh, translate if necessary. Who's got the first question? We'll start right here, guys. Hey Christian, is there a point in the night, maybe in warm-ups or the first inning, where you realize you have like your good fastball going, your fastball is going to be good that night? Había un punto en la noche, tal vez cuando tú estabas calentando, que te diste cuenta que iba a tener tu reta buena hoy. De otro en programa supe que mi reta estaba bien buena en el día de hoy, gracias a Dios, y estaba haciendo, estaba viendo lo que yo quería que ya en 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 mí cada vez que la que la lance, y de otro en programa me di cuenta que estaba bien. Yeah, and throwing program, I noticed I, I knew that my fastball was going to be good. Um, it was doing exactly what I wanted, and you know, even early on in the game, I noticed it, it was really good. 